Hello, hello, hello. It's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Hopefully you can see and hear me fine. Um, I have my little um, microphone in, so I'm hoping that everything's working OK. Last week we had a bit of sound issues, so this week I decided we will put in put in my mic and hopefully it will all work perfectly well. So it's half past 12. It's Monday, the 22nd of November. It's a gloriously sunny day outside. Unfortunately, it's freezing cold <laughs> and I am very cold sitting here in my house because we still have no heating and no hot water. <sighs> still never mind. Thankfully, we have a hot, a real fireplace. So thankfully, I still have one room that's warm. Uh, we also have an oil rad and, an, and a, a fan heater. But obviously, the fan heater takes a massive amount of electricity. So we're trying to cut back on that as well. Uh, I've washed my, my hair for the first time in a week with <laughs> jugs of water in the sink and the bath. Oh dear, it's all crazy fun. Probably too much information there. But anyway, I am clean. I am clean. <laughs> we're um we're working our way through having a camping stove kettle and a real kettle and heating lots of water that way. So <laughs> it's been fun this past week. Still hopefully tomorrow the engineer will be out with the part that he needs to fix everything. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be there. Um Excellent. So we've got people joining us. Hello, Jane. Hello, Sheila. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> uh, I was just getting my microphone set up. Hopefully everyone can hear me OK. And we're all ready for some blending fun with um, Peaceful Place. So I'm going to flick my camera over. There we go. Uh, I'm going to get rid of my head so that you don't have to see my face because it gets very bright when I put that light on. So I'm going to just take me off, but hopefully you can still hear me. So, oh, Marilyn is here too. Oh, hi. Great. You're all together. That's lovely. OK, so I have a very, very simple card today, which is this one. And then I'm going to show you some other things you can do with it to sort of step it up a little bit. So this comes from the beautiful Peaceful Place papers, which unfortunately are on, currently on back order. Uh, or maybe even you can't even order them. I don't know. They're one of those, but they are beautiful. And I know lots of you have got them. Uh, but I also want to show you something um, that would work with a different paper as well, which isn't on back order or elementary. So what I have here with me is some very simple pieces. Changing the colours up just slightly because, you know, I can and it's purple and I love purple, as you know. So we're going to go with a polished pink base and a purple gorgeous grape um, top layer. And then I'm going to show you what I did with this. So the first thing you need to do is cut it down. So I'll just cut this in half and I've cut this at UK measurement nine and a half centimetres wide. And then I want to chop a bit off to make it 13.9. I still want to have some white down here because I still want to be able to, you know, have the white down here. And you could actually stamp your sentiment down there if you wanted to. So I still want some of that, but I don't want all of it. So I'm going to just chop that off. 13.9 which makes it a perfect perfect size um, for layering okay but this time I'm going to add a little bit of blending so I've got my blending brushes and this is a really easy way for people to get started with adding color to their projects um, it doesn't take a lot of what I would call um, artistic requirement do you know what I mean you don't need to know how to draw you can <laughs> you can just add a little bit of color using your blending brushes so these come in a pack of three I've got one and a bit packs here uh, just because I wanted these lovely colors so I've got a purple one a pink one a blue one and a kind of tur turquoisey one and we're going to start off with Pacific Point and this is going to be our darkest color so this is going to be at the top okay so I'm starting with our darkest color which I know most people would say oh no start with your lightest color but we're coming in from the top so we kind of need to know where we're going so I'm starting up here and I'm just doing circular motions, not pressing very hard. You, if you press really hard, you could actually bend the brush um, because it's a flexible head. But you don't I don't I don't want to bend the brush. I don't want to do it very hard. Now, if you go straight onto the paper, you can get splodges like that. Whereas if you come in from the edge, that's where the magic happens and you don't get those splodgy bits going quite so much. OK, so we've got our blue 
and I can make that darker by just adding more ink. Okay. But the idea is that you add it in circular motions or even sweeping motions. You can do sweeping as well. Uh, that also works. But don't sort of just splodge it on because that will create um, marks. Somebody asked me that question the other day. I, oh, my blending's not great because I get um, splodges in the middle of my um, colouring. And, and that's because you're, um, you're just doing too much splodgy straight onto the cardstock so you're going straight on like here these splodges <clears throat> these splodges you won't be able to blend these out because you put ink directly on you can blend around them and you can sort of blend them in a little bit but it'll still have a splodge in the middle and that's why I always try and go from the outside now there are some times where you can't go from the outside in in which case um, you just need to be careful how much you have on your brush so that you can um, you know rub some of that off so it doesn't have a sharp um, like it doesn't have a sharp edge or go in exceptionally lightly so if you go in really lightly you can go straight in okay so that's also possible and now I'm just blending up and up into that blue okay and we might have some teal coming in there, some uh, Bermuda Bay coming in there at some point. So if you're going to go in straight, go really gently and then add more pressure when you're happy that you're, you've not got masses and masses of ink on your blending brush. Okay. So now we're going to go for some Bermuda Bay. Hello, Leslie and Sarah watching. Nice. Thank you good to see you here I love playing with blending and I know you girls have been blending as well so this is all good so now I'm going between the two adding in a little bit of that Bermuda Bay and this is what gives it this beautiful um, northern lights effect you know the Borealis effect it's because it's all mingling together Okay, and then we're going to finish off with the polished pink, which is quite pink, I know, but it is a lovely colour and I can't help but use it. Now, you'll see that when I come down by the trees, I'm really going in between the trees. I mean, I'll go over the silver a little bit, but I'm trying not to go like as if the whole tree was covered in pink because I still want that um, the trees have actually got snow on them right so we don't want to cover up the snow so we'll just add that there if you think you need a bit more color you can go in a bit darker and add a bit more in I like that purple I want that purple a little stronger just on this one side it can be lighter on another side than the other it doesn't have to be dark on both sides there we go excellent and now uh, we're going to keep that actually out now it's time for putting the card together adding a little bit of a sentiment to it because you've added all your colour now that's pretty cool um, if you have a um, piece of kitchen towel or even better really is a um, non microfiber cloth if you just rub this you'll just take it off any of the silver sparkly bits so you'll clean up that silver a little bit and then can you see all the silver still shines but you've got that lovely um, coloured background I keep trying to put that away but I need that um, oh I need my sentiment that I've popped in over here one moment I'm just gonna grab this from behind my laptop there we go <laughs> there we go so I love the happy Christmas on this it is just perfect so 
Okay, somewhere I have. There we go. Piece of paper. So we're going to stamp the sentiment or the words in polished pink this time around. There we go. And your grid paper is not just for blending on, right? It's also for helping you work out where you're lining your words up. So, what did I do with that one? Did I do a cut that way? I did. Put that on there. There we go. It's a little downwards, but it'll cope. I'll cope. There we go. Leave that to dry for a second. Okay, so now we're just going to stick these together. It doesn't take a lot. Um, I am using seal because it is a foiled paper. And seal works better on foiled paper because it's not wet. I mean, you can use it. I have used it on... Oh, have I run out? Oh, I've run out. Oh, I've run out. Okay. Have I got a refill with me? No, I do not have a refill with me. I must have used it on my other one the other day. Uh. Okay, so we'll be using wet glue. <laughs> that was the way. <laughs> okay, you can use wet glue. I don't like using wet glue on foiling because it just... It can just come through a little bit, that's all. So I have to be very careful with it. Not lots and lots, just little little tiny bits, which is handy because there's not a lot coming out of that. Right, here we go. Yeah. See how that makes it pop now that it's on that background? It's really kind of lifted all those colours. And then we will actually do the sentiment first. I'm just going to chop that bit off there and then I'm going to position this where I want it to be. It's going to be kind of going over here. Somewhere like that. Make sure it's straight before you cut. Okay, that's going to go sort of there-ish. Have I left myself enough room for a little twiddly bit? Hopefully I have. If not, we'll put it on top. Okay. So I've been playing with this paper a lot in my uh, Christmas card classes, uh, but I'm going to be doing working with different things in my next card class, which comes up on the 1st of December. That's next week. Can you believe it is the 1st of December next week? Oh my goodness. Who's ready for Christmas? Anybody? Not me. That's for sure. I bought a couple of presents, but nothing major. So I'm going to be needing to do a little bit of Christmas shopping in December, I think. Uh, but the good news is I'm going to a market on Saturday. I'm actually going to be um, at the Christmas market. If anyone's local here in Fleet or Church Crookham, if any of my friends and customers are watching or listening on replay, Saturday, 27th November, the Exchequer Pub in Church Crookham is having a Christmas market. And I will be there selling kits. So you can come along and get a kit if you so wish. Now, I'm coming back in with my elegant trim, of which I seem to have used all the gold. I've only got the silver left. So we're just going to tie a little bow with that. And if you're not coming to Christmas Market, but you'd like a kit, they're all available online. So don't panic. You do not have to buy them from me personally. You can get them from going to queenpitcards.com forward slash kits. Very easy. Just kits on my website and you'll get there. Okay, actually probably a little less. A little less dangle is needed here. So we're going to pop that just, might just do it above in this case because I'm a little tight on my thingy. And we're going to use a glue dot. To hold that down so I tend to fold it just above where the glue dot is and then you can really position it well where you want it to be on your bow pull it off in one go make sure the edges are tucked in so it doesn't stick up the whole card and then you can pop it down where you fancy there we go lovely so that is our first card 
Isn't that pretty? If you like it, tell me you like it, because otherwise I can't see. <laughs> I think it's pretty. So that's that one. And then let's just clear these bits of silver stuff away. Let's see what else we can do with these. So we started off with this one. I probably would add some sparkly bits. We've got some sparkly bits here, actually. Let me add a few sparkles because I think it needs a few. Everything always needs a few sparkle, smark, sparkles. Sparkles? <laughs> Magical, says Leslie. Jane says you'd have put the sentiment and the white at the bottom. Yep, you can do that, absolutely. That is, um, that is certainly something you can do. Um, in fact, if you're feeling brave, Jane, you can stamp it straight on. But um, if you're not feeling brave, this is a good way of doing it. And this means that you just have some snow at the bottom. That's all. So we're going to put some pink sparklies here. I think do some pink, pink sparklies. You could, of course, add some purple because this whole set comes with uh, fresh freesia ones, which would look good as well. Or even the evening, uh, the soft succulent ones would look nice on here as well. We'll just add a couple of those just along the top. So there we go. So that's those two. Now, what else can we do? So here's one where I did put it further down towards the uh, white at the bottom. So there you go, Jane. I did do that. Um, and this one has an extra bit. So this is on black, straight onto black. Just the three colours. This is Knight of Navy, Bermuda Bay and a bit of Pool Party. And then I added a bit of this dark silver foiling. See, so this is a silver foil, but it's like a, a really dark silver, almost black. So that takes it down um, a little bit, leaves more of the trees on show. So you see, you can do lots of different things with this piece. Just one piece of paper and look how many different things you can do with it. Uh, what else do we have here? So some more. Um, here we have a different tree. Again, this is Peaceful Place. This is the tree from Whimsy and Wonder Whimsical Trees Bundle. And you can see that I've done the gorgeous, gorgeous grape and Bermuda Bay here. It's a thicker, it's a darker card, so it doesn't show so much, but it looks different. It looks pretty. And then some people might be receiving some cards in the post soon. Uh, one of which is this one. If I can find it. There we go. So I'll put this one together. So on this one, I took this paper, which is, again, a piece of the um, Peaceful Place. I've stuck a circle of silver on it. I'm just going to pop this on here. There we go. And then this goes on here. And this, just very simply with some... This is a tailored tag punch. I just want to show you how different you can make one piece of paper, like one set of papers look um, with just a few bits of blending. So some people should be getting a card that looks a little bit like this today or tomorrow. So these went out to my top achievers. Um, this, this or a different one went out to my top achievers. Um, over the weekend, there was two sets, one for one set and one for another. So, <laughs> um, and then I've just done a different one completely. This one has um, embossed pieces. I just ran the uh, foil through my trimmer, but using the um, scoring blade on the back, so it gives a slightly edged. Can you see that? Just a slight edge there and along here to the silver. Makes it look a bit different. Uh, and then I've blended brushed, blending brushed the outside of that. So you can see we do, you know, lots and lots of blending. Really changes it from where it started off, you know. It's pretty though, isn't it? Hi, Sharon. <laughs> I think it's pretty. Uh, and then, of course, you can just do it without any blending at all and let it just be pretty. 
and as it is in the pack okay so with all these different options that's great but you can't actually buy any more of this paper at the moment because it's not all, it's not available so then what do we do well then we go and have a look in our stash and we see what else we've got that maybe we could do something similar with and in my stash somewhere towards the back here we go we have the beautiful simply elegant which has foiled sheets on it so anything that's got foiling on it but that also has a cream or a white background is a perfect perfect one to look at in terms of doing some blending now some of these have got cream backgrounds and they don't have foiling on them so you could also do blending on that if you wanted some of them are a little dark i wouldn't suggest there's really no point in blending this, this one for example because it's black so you're not going to get any blending the rest of it's foil so it'll just all rub off so there's not really much point in blending that one or indeed the one with the arches um let's see if there's another one in here but i don't think so i think it's these two uh, of course there's this one this could also this could be done oh, and that's gray gray no, no, no. yeah okay so i think it's these three these three so i thought why don't we give it a try with these see what we can do with these so let's move these out of the way because blending isn't just for christmas it's like a puppy it, have, it works all year round okay so <laughs> you can bring it into any of your um any of your crafting all the time and in fact in our membership club we have um we have an entire class on blending and how to use the blending brushes and if you would like to join our uh, membership it's you can get a sneak in a sneak in pass if you join today you just have to message me or put um put a comment in the in the post here and just say you know i'd like to come in and then i'll send you the link by message and in you come very easy and you can join and learn loads there's tutorials going up every month um, there's stuff happening every week uh, we do a lot of stuff we do a lot of stuff it's great fun okay so I'm just going to cut a couple of these pieces just so that we can see what they look like. And we have, we're going to have a Christmas social in the membership, in case you didn't catch that in the last Zoom that we did. Um, we're going to have a Christmas social in at the, our next Queen Pip hot seat. So bring something sparkly. <laughs> Or tea, whichever, you know, it's entirely up to you. Tea's also allowed. Counts as sparkly in my house, tea. It's always good for a celebration or anything else. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so bring your, bring your beverage of choice, possibly maybe a mince pie or a cheese puff or something. I don't know. I'm going to sit and chat and talk about all things Christmassy and maybe play some silly games. <laughs> all that kind of stuff, because, you know, the membership is not just about serious stuff. It's all about fun. OK, so I would say for something that's cream, pink is going to look gorgeous, especially because it's got grey in it as well. So let's try some of this on here. OK. And we'll see how this goes. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? See how it changes just that edge. You know, it's just this this part of it that's changed. And it's very subtle. Unless you go really dark with it. It's just sort of a subtle. See what I mean? You can do these. You can do backwards and forwards as well, just in case. I find that sometimes my wrist hurts if I just do circles. So then I just add in a few back and forth and that works nicely too. So can you see, can you see how pink that's gone very quickly? It's got a lovely, it's not showing up so well in the light here. It's got a lovely pink sheen to it. Let's make it a bit darker so you can see it a bit better. So 
sometimes the camera you need to make it darker so it's it shows up better okay. see that oh that looks better yeah see so you can see that beautiful pink so you could use that for anything i think and then let's do this gold and white let's do this with oh maybe some purple love a spot of purple me i'm going to go back over to the purple side uh, no this is the purple side here we go now you can clean your brushes you don't have to have one for each color um so don't panic about that i just have a few so that it's easy for me to switch on camera and also when i'm crafting it's easy for me to just switch from one color to the other but you can wash them uh, you can also use them for like one for blue one for pink one for purple which is what i tend to do so if i wanted to use highland heather i'd just rub off what's on here onto a project or um just onto scrap and i'd just go straight into my highland heather and it would be fine oh that looks nice I mean, you can change the entire look of a piece of paper just by adding colour to it. That is gorgeous, isn't it? You see that? So it's still got that gold, but now it's got the now it's got that purple in it as well. It looks very regal. <laughs> just my colour cup of tea. That's lovely. There we go. Nice. And I'm just doing edges just so that you can see them and then we'll put them together and make them into some kind of some kind of card. Right, this one I'm going to do blue and pink. So I have two colours going on here, which might be a bit too much because it's actually got three kind of colours. It's got gold, it's got copper, gold and silver going on here. So we probably don't want to do too much. We might just do the centres of some flowers. So let's just do the centres of these in blue. So this is what I mean by the way I say you can go into if you're very if you're just very gentle and light and put not putting any pressure on that really just letting the the brush do the work and see how that's beautifully adding a blue center to those that's yummy okay I think that's all of those ones you see that it just lifts that immediately Let's do the same, but with the pink. We'll do that because because this um, pink is a good colour with the grey. So just straight in the middle there. Yeah, there we go. Now you might find that some part of your brush is pink is inkier than the other. So you might need to move your paper around so you get a more central look. This one's not quite so inky, so I'm having to work it a little harder. I'll go back just gently again. <gasps> yeah. So you see, you can do it without getting blotches if you're just very um, conscious of your pressure and it's a bit like stamping just stamping on as, a, as a whole um, you know you get uh, you kind of get into the knack of stamping so that you pick up the right amount of ink and that you don't get ink all over the block and all that is is learning the pressure of your stamp to ink pad um, pick up and once you've learnt that then blending really shouldn't be any harder because it's again it's about the learning the pressure so that's pretty you can't really see that very well because this is all very shiny behind here let's turn that over that might help a little can you see how pink that is and blue in amongst all the gold and the silver it's really pretty okay so now let's put our inks away for a moment these would make great birthday cards don't you think because they're really shiny and you know luxurious so birthday anniversary all those kind of things 
So we need a pink one, I think. Oop. And so polished pink. Do I have a Pacific point? No. Doesn't look like I do. How how rude. Oh, I've got a gorgeous was that a gorgeous grape I saw in there? Or was that just a magenta madness? I think it was a magenta madness. Oh, that's a mango uh, melon mambo. Okay, hold on. One moment caller, there's more. Here we go. So we've got a purple one, that's good. And then we've got a I want to say I've got a Pacific point in here somewhere. <gasps> there we go. But there we go. I generally have one of at least one of every colour. <laughs> oh hi Joe. Joe's joined us. Nice that you could fit us into your lunch hour, Joe. I'm glad you snuck off snuck off your lunch hour from work. Good. We like that. Now fold these in half. So yes, yeah, so if you think actually I could do with learning a little bit more about my card making, maybe you're just getting started. You don't really know all the techniques. You don't really know, um, you know, what ink does what, why have we got different inks, all that kind of stuff. What papers you need to use for what things. We had a good discussion about that last time. Um, you know, lots of different, there's lots of different things. How to use your embossing paste, how to get your embossing paste off masks, all that kind of stuff. Um, those are the kind of questions that we have and that we answer in our um membership club so and it's 12.99 a month at the moment it will be going up in the new year but at the moment it is 12.99 a month which i don't think is much is much when you're able to come and you know ask questions get loads and loads of tutorials you get product reviews tutorial reviews uh, a class every month you get to come to our stamp and chat for free every month if you want to, or you get a reduced price um, on your crafty packet if you want one. So, yeah, lots of reasons why it might be a good thing to join us. OK, now I'm trying to work out what colour did I do this. So I need a purple. Mm -mm -mm. Could you use a cream, I suppose, or a white or a light grey. Sometimes a light grey is nice. Let's see. Let's see. We might just need a cream or a grey or a white. Okay, so fold that in half. Burnish that. So yes, if you're interested in my membership club, then all the links uh, the link to it is below. But if you but it won't let you join, it'll just ask you to join the waiting list. But if you are here today and watching and want to join then you can send me a private message and when i finish obviously not while i'm talking but when i finish um then i will uh give you the link so that you can join and sign up um and then you're in straight away it's about dead easy okay so those are our bases now let's see what we've got this one definitely is going to go on here and that is i don't know if that's white or cream i think it's I think it's white. I think it's white, but it might look. Let's see what it looks like with a grey. No, 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 no. Oh no! Where did the yellow come from? That's going to look a bit odd. With the dark grey. Nope. Nope. I think that means white. Let's see. Have I got a large white for all these little? No, there's a large. Although it does look distinctly creamy. Oh no, 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 no. See, when it goes on there, it's not creamy. It's just gold. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, so we've got that one. We've got this one, which I think will look good. Uh, oh, now I was going to put that on there, but actually I think that's going to look better on there with a dark grey, yep, because grey goes with pink. So then we'll put this on here, and then this needs a pink, doesn't it? It needs pink. So what have I got? I haven't got a polished pink, but I've got a, a flirty would work. No, it's the wrong pink. 
let me get a polished pink one. Got to have the right bits, right? I wasn't planning on making this one, so I just kind of winging it in a minute. So that's okay. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with winging it. Here we go. I thought I'll make one card and then just show you the rest. But you know, I can't leave it like that. You know what I'm like? I have to finish them off. Just <laughs> I have to at least get them to the point where you can see what they're going to be. <laughs> okay. So there we go. That's going to look better. That's going to that'll look better, won't it? That looks great. Nice. And this, for some reason, is not just the right size. This is not ten. This is ten and a half. Okay, this is half a card base. Just off. That's better. Better. Now, ribbon. Oh, decisions, decisions. Ribbon, what have we got? We've got some beautiful, gorgeous grape sheer, so that's going to go on there. Then gold. What gold have we got? We've got this beautiful gold. That would work. And that one we might not have any ribbon at all because it's quite fussy. So I might not need some. I might not need gold. Okay, so again, no... <laughs> No um, seal is going to be tricky. I'll have to get. I might have to get my tape out. Okay. And I've got plenty of refills, but I can't get to them because I'm attached by my mic, and they're all hidden over there on the other side of the room. So, okay, I'll just do that. I think this is definitely going to be one that doesn't really need much other than a bit of a sentiment because it speaks for itself, really. Nice and bright. That'd be great for a happy birthday. Okay. This one, on the other hand, is beautiful. Actually, I wanted to clean a bit of that off before I put it on here, but then mind do it afterwards. This one, I think, could do with a bit of ribbon. I mean, it's pretty and everything. But... Let me make sure that that gold is... Shining through. Yeah. Okay. But I think that would look even better. Even better. With a bit of purple. Just to sort of highlight the purple at the top. I'm making all these landscape, but they don't have to be, of course. Where's me the bit gone? Come back. There we go. Okay, I love this sheer ribbon, it's beautiful. And just ties gorgeously, which is quite handy. There. Doesn't need to be a long one. Trim those ends off. That's nice. That's nice. This looks like a girl with um like a Charleston outfit, this, doesn't it? Who's been watching strictly? Did you see the did you see the results show? I'm not gonna say anything, but just in case you haven't watched the results show yet, but oh, I like them all at the moment, that's the problem. It's got to that point in the competition now where I love all of them. I think they're all brilliant. I'm not convinced the right one went, but, you know, that's just the way it is. We did our bit. We voted. What more can you do? But, yes, that's nice. I like that. And then this. This one's going to be up and downing. This will go first. You've all gone very quiet. You're all, you're all either eating and not near a keyboard, or you're just watching and chatting amongst yourselves. Come and chat with me. Let me know you're there. <laughs> okay. Now this pink's very faint, so I might just 
I might just do this because I don't want to take away too much of the pink. So I might just do this across here, which will now require some tape. Oh, Sheila, you're making Christmas cards. Great. More Christmas cards. You've been making Christmas cards forever. You have a lot of friends, though. You do give a lot of Christmas cards away. I'll give you that. I'm looking forward to getting mine. So cheeky. <laughs> I'm so cheeky I'm asking for my Christmas card on the live. <laughs> she can't get out of it now. But no, I love Sheila's card. She always makes beautiful cards, so I'm looking forward to it because of that. Not because I'm on the catch, honest. Okay, there we go. As you said, she's watching and laminating some posters. Okay. <laughs> well, that's different. <laughs> don't think we've ever had anybody laminating stuff while I've been doing my cards before. That's cool. <laughs> See, it's nice, isn't it, about videos like that? You're not actually here. You're not actually here with me, as it were. So you can get on and do other things, but you can listen to me. And occasionally I ask you to comment and stuff, but... <laughs> Other than that, you can get on with stuff, which is nice. Sheila says she likes having me on in the background. So, you know, I know my place. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh, Sheila says I'm first on the list. Oh, bless you, honey. I would, you know, I'm honoured to be first on your list for Christmas cards. Okay. And see that pink just then gets picked up through there like that. Now, you know me, I love a simple card. I think that just calls for some sentiments and they're done. Right? Don't you think? They're just... I'm going to get this offending yellow piece because it's just not going with it. It's just not working with it. Don't you think they're fun? And pretty much done and dusted, ready to go with just some sentiments what would you send those for i think a, i think birthdays for sure and maybe uh maybe an anniversary now i see jane who's on here watching she leaves her cards wordless like just like this in her box until she needs them oh no Oh dear. Okay. So hang on. We've got a lot of answers now. So, oh, Kay's been watching because she's been working most of the weekend. Oh, that's harsh. Um, thank you for watching. And Leslie's got her boiler packed up again. <gasps> as well as me. Oh no, that's dreadful. So yeah, well, our one came, he saw, he tutted, he shut us down, put a big security sticker on it saying, do not try and re-engage and left again after ordering a part. So fingers crossed yours comes, <laughs> yours gets fixed better than that. So, oh, oh, I'm just throwing it. Oh, I'm throwing everything at you today. Sorry. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so that was Thursday and he's coming tomorrow because the part, you can't fix in before then. So, um, yeah, of course, I'm going to send you a Christmas card, Sheila. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. Margaret says they're very pretty. So I think these would be brilliant on here because they're big, they're bold and they can be a kind of anything. So we could have a happy birthday. So we could have happy and see it would it would kind of go with the big, bold images. Happy. And then we could do. I think that's birthday. Yeah, happy birthday along there. Um, or we could kind of like happy up here and birthday down here. It doesn't matter because you just chop and change them. Then we could do thanks. I always love a thank you card. Um, in fact, that would make a good thank you card, that one. That's just just thanks and need anything else. And then we've got, what's this one? Happy, happy, happy. Or hello. We've got a lovely little hello actually. I really like this one. Hello. That's nice. Okay, let's see what we've we got here. Put that one over there. Yeah, I hope it's not too major for you either. Um Leslie, because that's not fun. It's not believe me, it's not fun. <laughs> oh, getting washed without any heating. 
Ugh. Makes I'm reading a um a mystery book at the moment about nuns. She's a mystery solving nun. Um and they, they they wash in cold water and have cold baths all the time, all year round. You're only allowed to have hot water if you're in the infirmary, apparently. So it's like I know how they feel. I'm feeling very in tune with the book that I'm reading at the moment. It's <laughs> just uh not really how I I don't like to read and get myself quite so Im immersed in the in the storyline, but it seems like I am. Oh dear. Ah, oh, thanks, Sharon. You like the blending technique, but you haven't tried it yet. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, just give it a go if you get some blending brushes because they're well worth it. And you can just add colour to any paper. And um, yeah, I'm sure that it, you'd like that if you gave it a go. How did you get on at the weekend? Was it good? I saw your photos on Insta. So... I hope it I hope it was good. Right, so what are we gonna do? I think this one's a this one's got to be a birthday, I think. Or well, this one. Actually that could be a birthday. That would look nice, wouldn't it? Okay. So we'll do pink words. I might not finish all of these. Depends on time. How are we doing? Ooh, it's twenty past already. Okay. So happy let's see if i can just finish this one so we'll do happy here because that can just be chopped out there lovely and then we'll do birthday and we'll just pull out the basic gray now you could obviously do the heat embossing but i'm not going to do that right this second so i'm going to pull out the other color that we've got which is the basic gray Oh, and I should have done it on vanilla. Yeah, oh, silly me. Because it's a vanilla, isn't it? I knew there was something wrong. There we go. Let's get some vanilla here. Oops. Oh, oh it's all falling over. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Oh, just so I could open my drawer. Right. Let's try let's try this again, shall we? Let's do this. Let's get my um Let's get me mat. It's better with me mat. Oh, I've got something on mine. You don't want to have something on your ink, on your uh, stamp. There we go. That's not bad. And then we'll do Christmas to the end. Oh, it was good, was it, Sharon? That's good. Excellent. Pop that there. I'm going to cut that out by hand so it doesn't matter. Although, I've, obviously, because I'm going to cut it out by hand, I've now got it perfectly straight. But, you know, that's just the way it is. Oh, dear. Okay. So this one, it's, not, it's a bit crooked, isn't it? It's a bit crooked. I'm going to get my little... And I know you can't get this, and I'm so sorry you can't get one of these, but if you've got one of these, it is a godsend for when you cut your words off. Crooked. Oh, look, I've got ink everywhere as well. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Coming in nice and tight for this one. There we go. And then this one we can wiggle around. Wiggle around. Because we don't want to hide all of that nice beautiful ribbon. All of that nice beautiful paper that we've got. So doing a bit of a wiggle. I could probably go back and go in there a little bit deeper, but I'm not going to. Get rid of all that. There we go. And see if you wiggle, it doesn't matter if it's straight or not, right? Somebody very clever taught me that. I can't remember her name. But she said, um, 
In fact, it might even have been. Well, I know Sarah Douglas has said it before as well. If you wiggle, you can't be wrong because you're not trying to make it straight. So how can it be wrong? There we go. Alrighty. And then we'll get some dimensionals, obviously. <laughs> uh, we might put happy just straight along there. And then birthday might go over the gold like that. So we'll see. So hopefully you can see that blending is not just for Christmas and it's not just for Peaceful Place, even though I've used um, Peaceful Place obviously for most of my cards. Anything that's got, um, and it doesn't even have to be foiled, you know, you can do it on black and white papers. Black and white papers come out beautifully. So if you've got the host reward paper, um, what's that called? Plenty of patterns or something like that. Pattern party, something like that. Uh, that's a great one for doing blending on as well. Um, there we go. Pop that along there. And there you have a pretty birthday card. There you go. What do you think? So the pink matches in with the pink down the side and the grey matches in with the little grey dots and the grey border. So that's that one. And then obviously you could add bling, which, you know, you would do. Um, and I think I'm going to finish these two off and then show them to you next time. Ha -ha. <laughs> I'll leave them as a surprise because we're, we're near enough at our half past one. So... I'm going to try and stick to an hour because otherwise I feel like I'm waffling on forever. So, <laughs> so let's just have a bit of a recap, okay? For those of you joining us a little bit late, we started off with this. And then I brought in this one. And this was the one we actually did live here today. So we've done these two cards today. And then I showed you all the other stuff that we did with a bit of blending. Um, and I gave you a sneak peek of what something might be landing at some people's doors this week in my team who did amazing things last year and were fabulous. So, and then there's just a plain one here because I just, I really, I love the papers. And then we've just done these and added some blending onto these because it isn't just for Christmas. So there we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed, oh, that's a bit bright there. I can't do that one there. A bit too bright <laughs> hopefully you've enjoyed this little tutorial on blending and um the things that you can do both with peaceful place and with other stuff so um if you have enjoyed it let me know share it with your friends tell people about it you know if you've got somebody who likes a good bit of a good bit of blending or maybe is struggling with their blending then oh shut that down that's a bit bright then um just share this tutorial with them. It's free. Everyone can see it. You can share it from YouTube. You can share it from Facebook. Um, so, yeah, share away and enjoy. And if you want to join the membership, then, as I say, the description, uh, the link is below to go and have a look about what it's all about. Uh, you can join my waiting list for when it officially launches again. But if you want to get in at the lowest price, then you need to um, just ping me. Send me a message. Let me know that you want to come in. Uh, and I'll sneak you in through the back door uh, or the side door, should we say. So, yeah, let me uh, let me let me know. <laughs> All righty. So I will see you again here next week, next Monday. And then I'll be back again next Wednesday for our Christmas class as well. So don't forget to do that. And uh, I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely week and have some blending fun. All righty. You take care. See you later. Bye. <laughs>